What up, everybody? It's your boy, SGFL, man. And we are back with another video. You dig, man. And next up, we got making their debut on the SGFL channel, man. We got Yama Zaki. And they're bringing their song, Hane. I hope I'm pronouncing it right. Hane. I'm not up to, uh, uh, up to snuff, I should say, on my pronunciation on certain stuff. But Hane from Yamazaki. Right? And of course, it's a Spotify flow. So we got that about the artist we're going to get into in a second. But what I enjoy the most, man, is because when people or new artists drop songs or just get out they, uh, their first or make the good impression for us, they give us a little bit of background of song and them himself. So quickly, it says Hane blends Japanese folktronic, alt rock, and synth pop. And it explores the theme of breaking free from self-imposed limitations to pursue true prosperity. All right, with a dreamlike soundscape, driving electric guitars and ambient layers, the song is symbolized by the spiritual image of a wolf walking through a chaotic city, representing wisdom and change. It's dope, man. Like I said, I, I like they paint that picture for us already. So when we heard the music, we can already have our minds and our imaginations open up. And we're going to probably get that image and we can just see if it floats with that. All right. About Yamazaki real quick. It says Yamazaki was born. Uh, Benedict Rakovics is a IT consultant turned innovative musician, merging his technical expertise with a deep passion for Japanese culture and music. Currently working on his album Ketsu. A reflection of his childhood, Yamazaki captivates audiences with live performances as a furry wolf, both on stage and in virtual reality. That's fire. I like it. Be different. Be different. Of course, we're going to jump right over into the About the Artist, man. That's what I like about Spotify. About the Artist, man. For one, doing your thing, man. 146 followers, 5,000 monthly listeners. Obviously, got a fan base doing his due diligence in his music stuff. It's a creatively uniting cultures and musical styles across a rich tapestry of evocative sounds and stories. Hungarian rapper, singer, and producer Yamazaki crafts a unique fusion of traditional orchestral and synth wave music for a collaborative Japanese album, Ketsu. I right? having paved the way with VR chat videos on YouTube and K-pop covers, VR chat. We got to talk. I'll rock with VR chat. You know what I'm saying? Yamazaki began making original music in 2022 and has worked with multiple talented musicians to bring to life an intoxicating and euphoric deep dive into the complexities and possibilities of life. Therapeutic escapism into songwriting has been a means of helping Yamazaki understand himself in the process, connects with, and help those who feel lost. The album, the album Ketsu refers to the Japanese Zen Buddhism term for shout, an, ex, uh, an experience of enlightenment and knowing. As such, the lyrics reflect deeply revealing sentiments, self-contemplations, and clear awareness of what was, what is now, and what can be. I'm sold. I'm sold. That's how you do it, man. That's how you that's how you bring yourself to life to someone. All right. That's how you give them when you first meet them, you hand them over a pamphlet that said, This is me, and this is what I'm about. Case in point. I like it. More y'all need to do it, man. Y'all can learn from Yamazaki, man. But let's jump right into Hane. It's in Japanese too, which is gonna be tough for me. I mean, I could copy it and then put it in translator, but we're gonna just get it raw, real, and uncut. You know what I'm talking about? So let's jump right here into Hane for Yamazaki. Y'all ready? Because I'm always Ready, let's go. Mm. Man, I feel like I'm a ninja. Mm. Mm. Japanese, I like it. They can watch the, anim the intro of anime. You can't tell me you don't feel like you are in an anime right now. Crunchy roll, what up?
feel like we've been fighting. Like we got the end. We run through a labyrinth right now, a maze. We might be in space on some guns and stuff. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it feels like I'm playing Ninja Gaiden right there. For my Dragon Ball Sparking Zero fans, hey, y'all about to tap in with it? Let me know in the comments below. That was Hane by Yamazaki, man. And just, you can tell by the whole premise, man. You can feel like the Japanese culture in the music, man. And y'all know me. Y'all know my roots, man. Y'all know I even had songs of her. I was big within like the international Russian. Um, I had what well, Spanish, Russian, uh, Argentinian, German. You know, my big international reaction. You know, that's what got me started, really, man. So I'm used to hearing the international music, man, the stuff that I don't understand, and I can't translate my head. So we just catch the vibe and the bop. This was the same thing, man. You catch that vibe. I immediately, as soon as I heard it, I was like, wow, why do I feel like this is uh intro and could be an outro, whichever one you want to have it for an anime, man. Like completely. Like this would be great as an AMV if anybody want to tap in, use the song, and then like I said, you know, saying super now you got super imposed. You can just basically just tap in, sync up the music with some fight scenes from Naruto. Like I feel on this, this would be great with Gundam. Um anything, man. AOT, of course, is always gonna work in DBZ, Naruto, and everything. But the fact of the matter is the music slaps. It's like immediately when you hear it, if you just if you're used to a certain thing and someone been used to listening and watching anime, you know what I'm saying I'm already my mind peaks to certain songs, to certain like Bluebird and the, you know what I'm saying, the Chow Zhao, you know what I'm saying, from Drake, all that. So this is the same thing. I immediately hear that and imagination switches on and I'm like man, I feel like I can just see a whatever type of story being progressed through the music, you know what I mean? I know he says the wolf walking through a chaotic city, it can be that. It can 100% be that slow dodging fireballs or like meteorites or Gundams dropping buildings because they fighting with beam sabers and everything. And it's just like, oh, it could be like a run. You could put Metal Gear, you can put anything for this, man, because this sound is so cultural and it's so like synonymous with a certain element of so like childhood for me. For me, like I said, it can be RPG, it can be game, anything like that. This was fire, man. Cause you just hear the song, it feels sad, it feels emotional, it taps into all those senses that you are used to when you hear songs of his caliber. Yamazaki is nice with this, man. I'm not even gonna lie. Like I feel like you really did capture the soul of like Japanese culture. Uh, when it comes to musical stuff, when it comes, like I said, once again, can always be like the animated cartoon. Animation, man. Animation. I just, I can't get my mind and my imagination to shut off hearing this and then immediately seeing some type of story. You know what I'm saying? Yu Yu Hakusho. It can be anything. Hunter x Hunter. My Hero. Jujutsu Kaisen. All that, man. Jojo. It can be so many things. Baki. We could go on forever, man. But it works because you can have this plan and all, and it fits. Credits can be rolling. You got it, man. This is nice. I like this, man. And I feel like you are on um, a nice little path of what you want to like seek out. If you want to continue to put out more music that is like this, with this like synth pop, with this element like high tempo, emotional style, like um, ambient music, man. Keep doing it because this is fire. As long as you got a fan base, which you do, which you got over five thousand money listeners, it's probably gonna continue to grow. Man, keep keep um 
appealing to their nature and what they want to hear. Of course, you probably can see all your analytics and so on. Matter of fact, while we're here, let's check out Yamazaki, man. Let's check out what he got. Emptiness, nay, uh, one shot, heartbreak, Aoki. We got a lot of stuff. We got EPs, singles. We got, yeah, we got all this, man. So we got stuff to check out. SNS, you're doing your thing, buddy. Keep doing it, man, because obviously you're making waves and you got a fan base. And as long as you continue to like um, uh, tend to them and what they like to hear from you and what they expect, you can't lose, man. From me to you, to next time. And it will be as soon as your boy SGFL. I'm out.